our nation's highest award for humor. Join some of the biggest names in American comedy. The Mark Twain Prize is named, of course, for the great American author. The Mark Twain Prize. The Mark Twain Prize. The Mark Twain Prize. The Mark Twain Prize. When you are anointed, you rise above all your fellow men and women. Everyone likes to get a prize, any prize really, but this is a very good prize because it is associated with Mark Twain. Mark Twain put into words, the human race has one really effective weapon, and that is laughter. This is the night that we have all been waiting for. And I said, Dave, you got a point. Let's eat those mushrooms. <laughs> to Twain. I feel like I died at Winsor Brooks Brothers. Good God in heaven, Kennedy Center. What have you done? It is not only an honor to be here tonight, it is a contractual obligation. Don't hog it, ma'am. Pass it around. Let everyone see it. I'm not going to get emotional tonight because I am a stone cold bitch. I love you! As I stare at this magnificent bust of Mark Twain, <laughs> I'm reminded of how humbled I am to receive such an honor and how I vow to take very special care of it. Um. There's a lot of talk right now about what's going to happen to comedy. Is comedy going to survive in this new moment? Comedy doesn't change the world, but it's a bellwether. We're the banana peel in the coal mine. This is precisely the time when artists go to work. It's OK when we're here, when the nation's strong. It's much more important that we're here in the dark, scary times. More now than ever, you have a responsibility to speak recklessly. The First Amendment is first for a reason. Second Amendment is just in case the first one doesn't work out. We must pick ourselves up by our bootstrings and laugh. Against the assault of laughter, nothing can stand. Often, controversy is what art needs to be about. This man's decapitated visage is a reminder to all of us. Comedy survives every moment. <laughs>